Mike Brown, Sammy's dad. And Sammy's little sister's not here. She's gone ice skating with her friends. Well, she couldn't get out of here fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> she, uh, relieved. I'm glad that it's over, and I'm officially a Clemson Tiger, so it's good to get everything out of the way. I'm done with recruiting, and you know, being a commit, I'm finally a signee, and I'm glad I'm ready to get to work. How was it playing your senior year? I mean, you kind of knew uh, where you were going as the mm -hmm. season went on, but still playing that senior year, trying to focus on obviously being here, but also thinking about Clemson. I mean, was mm -hmm. that difficult for you, or how did that process kind of play out? No, I, I really think it was easy. I really put everything that I had into high school football, and you know, senior year, you got to get everything you got. So I really just went out there and focused on high school football, and didn't think about Clemson until you know Saturday if I went to the game and. Didn't really think about it at all during the week. What memories do you take from here at Jefferson High School, whether it's put, playing football, being a student athlete? I mean, obviously a good portion of your life was here. What, uh, when you think back, what are you going to remember? Uh, definitely just the atmosphere of the football games, especially the big ones. You know, a couple of our playoff games this year, and then, you know, the game against Doug Coney this year, the game against Raven my sophomore year. There's just some games that are just different than others. and. The fans really show up, and there's just kind of a buzz in the air. So you're definitely going to remember those games, and you don't really get any of those games anymore. Everybody says that high school, you won't have anything else like high school, so I'm definitely going to remember those games. What excites you the most about going to Clemson, and, and why do you think that's the best fit for you? Um, you know, I just think that they have one of the best coaching staffs in the country, honestly. They have a really good defensive coaching staff, and overall I think that everybody on that coaching staff is aimed towards making us better players and better people. And I am excited to get up there and play under Coach Goodwin and in that defense. You know, he's really aggressive with his linebackers. And I'm, I'm excited to, you know, get in the blitz, get in the pass rush a little bit, and that'll be really fun. Talking about the coaching staff, obviously, Coach Sweeney is, is an animated guy. If you watch it on TV, you know, um, does that excite you? What's kind of your take on him? And, and how is the process visiting with him as you were kind of going through the whole recruiting process? I really like Coach Sweeney. I think he's one of the best in the country, and I think that he's done a great job of getting that program where it is today, and I think that he's going to continue to do that as the years go. And, you know, just he, he's got that program exactly how his personality is. I think a lot of what he does is based around his personality. He's done a great job of making a family environment and, you know, making sure that the kids know that there's people that they can talk to and, you know, people that can help them, and he's done a great job of bringing that program to where it is today. Clemson has had a great run of success, and a lot of Georgia players, a lot of Metro Atlanta players have, have played for Clemson over the years. Um, is the fact that it's not too far away, was that a draw as well? And just the fact that there's kind of a Georgia pipeline as far as talent going there, did that make you feel more comfortable as well? Uh, you know, it's really good to see some Georgia kids up there. One of my good friends from high school, Khalil, went to North Oconee. You know, we played against him my sophomore year. So people from this area go to Clemson, and I think that it's a great place. It's far enough, but not too far. Are you going to set any particular goals for you as an individual once you get up there? Or how are you kind of approaching your initial um, trip up there and when you, when you finally enroll in school there? How are you going to approach that as far as what you want to accomplish? I definitely want to make an impact, whether it's you know on defense or on special teams or anywhere that I can make an impact. I just want to you know, help Clemson out and make, it a better, make them a better team and a better Linebacking group, whatever it may be, I just want to make an impact.